Hey, recently I was with a friend of mine. He's the mayor of a fairly good sized city. And I looked at all the workers outside the window and I said, how many people work here? Mm, close to half, he said. I had to think about that for a minute and I thought, you know what? That's kind of accurate stuff. Hey, the Remington Gun Factory, they're not working there anymore in upstate New York. 300 people have worked there for over 200 years. I really, there's 7,500 people about in the town. 300 people plus their families, they buy a lot of shoes and put a lot of gas in their cars and so on, and they're leaving. They're leaving, why? This Trump thing probably scared the bejeebers out of them. Wouldn't it you? I mean, come on already, half a billion dollars almost. We work here and we have guns, and it wasn't that many years ago, the Sandy Hook thing came at us and we had to pay $75 million and we didn't do anything bad, but that's what's happening in America. They're fleeing, they're going to Georgia. They say it's more comfortable there gun-wise. And the uh, state senator and other politicians are saying, this is bad, this is because of the governor. It is because of the governor and all those left-wing wackles in New York City is not nice. Biden is illegal immigrants, they say, they. Who are they? Somebody says that 7.2 million illegals have entered the U.S. under the Biden administration. How do they know that? They count them. I think it's more like 20 million. But in any event, they're using this number, 7.2 million. That's the population of 36 states combined. That's larger than most American cities. Is it true? It's not true. There's many more. Why? Why has he done that? Pretty simple, they never ever want to lose an election. They want to rejig the entire country into their image. And to do that, they need votes. They plan, they be in the left wing wax, they plan. They're good at it, they plan 20 years, 30, 40 years out. Now they need to bring these people in, they need to give them your money. If you're a Republican, you're a person who makes money, they're gonna give it to them. And guess what? They will vote for them. That's part of the big plan. And they can reconstruct politics forever. Who could fix it? One guy. One person, Donald Trump, he has said, I will round them up just like Eisenhower did in the 50s. I will round them up and I will send them home. They can come here, but they have to fill out all the forms and be legal. I did that. It was painful. Wow. I had to have medicals and all kinds of things and financial stuff. It's not easy, but it is easy for 7.2 million or 22 million or 27 million, whatever that number is. And there's a plan. There's a plan. And Trump is the only one that can undo their plan and get things back to the way, they, the way they're supposed to be. And there's a master plan, our plan. Wow. California, they're part of the crazy plan. Their budget now has reached a record a deficit of $73 billion. First, they don't believe that either. They don't believe any of these numbers that these left-wing people talk about. Pick a country, Canada, Britain, they lie, or they're just dumb. They can't add. I mean, 73 billion is probably 173 billion, and they keep doing it. They say, bring in more people. Let's give them Medicare. Let's give them this and that. Where's the money come from? You know, eventually you have to run out of other people's money. And that's happening in New York City. People are leaving. They're saying, we're not gonna do this anymore. We had it up. Now, speaking of crazy, this is really crazy. This happened in Europe. Here's a person, Isla, Bryson is the name, formerly known as Adam Graham. He went to court, he, she went to court, was convicted of rape on two counts. That means that you can, you know, you probably committed many more than two rapes, but you were captured and, and went to court and you were found guilty on two rapes. They're gonna put her in prison. He, sure, he, she, blah, blah, in prison. What prison? Woman's prison. It appears that's gonna happen. I'm a woman, he says, and I've been convicted of rape. Aha, uh -huh. put me in the woman's prison. That can't end well. I, really? Is that really going to happen? What can go wrong? A whole bunch of stuff. There are liberals who say, don't worry, nothing to go bad. He just raped two women. Duh. Ugh. Oh, then you got Canada. The Ukraine, let's ship more ammunition. We're making lots of ammunition. We're going to send it and great big guns and everything else. Oh, but all you people who live here, you can't protect yourself. But the Ukrainians need to protect themselves from the Russians. You, as a Canadian citizen, you're not allowed to protect yourself from us <laughs> or from anyone. The rapes, the pillage, it goes on. It's illegal to defend yourself in Canada with a tool of any kind. I've said it so often, maybe some politician will listen to me one day on the other side and stand up or even on the liberal side and say, hang on, I got wives and daughters and dogs and cats. Bah! They should be allowed to carry a gun. But if you're a little sissy man and, and a gun is too harsh for you, how about pepper spray? I mean, it's illegal. Pepper spray in your purse, ma'am. 
That's a concealed weapon. You get three years in jail. And what about the bad guys? I mean, <laughs> they can't get rid of crime. They being the left-wing people, politicians in general, they can't get rid of it. So what do they do? They change the definition of crime. They redefine it. They redefine the conduct of crime. And people are going to jail, drug dealers. Fentanyl, if you deal fentanyl and kill people, that's murder. Premeditated murder when you're dealing with fentanyl. You're killing people. They've redefined it. You just, it's catch and release. And yet, carry pepper spray in your purse, right? How do we fix this? Right. I use the word right. It's right. Right. We got to get right because these people are wrong and they're destroying countries and we've got to go after them. Hey, see ya.